Uh, look, I mean, I think England South Africa is always a, a really big game. It's it's always been competitive, um, and it's a game you look forward to. You know, I think all our series is and. Games have been exciting to watch, so I expect tomorrow to be no different. And we obviously expect England to to want to perform really well tomorrow. So, you know, and obviously we do too. So I'm sure it's all set up for a really exciting game. So what you made of that amazing result uh, that Ireland achieved over England? Are you, are you expecting an, a bit of an England backlash after that? They've got a point to prove. They do. I mean, they're a very proud team, and they've they've had some uh, you know really good good ups in the last sort of two years. Uh, you know, so I think. Um, you know their performances have been really, really credible over a long period of time now. So you've you've got to respect them, and you've you've got to know that they've got the ability to to play really, really well tomorrow. Um, and as a team, we we know that. So uh, we've prepared for the best England team tomorrow, um, and we expect them to bounce back. Obviously, the Ireland win would have hurt them a lot. It was it was uh, terrific for I think the spirit of the World Cup to to watch um, you know watch watch them get the victory. Um, but you know I think tomorrow will be a very, very different game. Graham, could you just say a few words about what difference having Imran Tahir in your squad has made to the team? <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously he gives us a really attacking spin option, which is exciting. Uh, you know, from a captain's point of view, it's nice to have all this variation to sort of, you know, be a little bit more unpredictable and uh, and use a few more different things throughout the game. And um, you know, he certainly added impetus to our attack, especially through the middle periods. Um, but I think all in all, we've got a side that's got a lot more variation, uh, a lot more options available. You're giving up the captaincy after this tournament. You've only got seven games to go, assuming you go all the way, which you've got a chance of doing, obviously. Um, <clears throat> why are you, and is it affecting the side in this tournament, knowing that you are on your last legs as a captain? <laughs> <clears throat> well put, sir. <laughs> um, no, it's not affecting us at all. I think things have been very normal within the squad. Uh, you know, hopefully it's providing a little bit more motivation for the guys, if anything. But um, you know, for me, it was a personal decision. It's a decision that I'm at peace with, and uh, you know, I've been in the job for for over eight years now, which is, I think, a lot longer than most other captains tend to last these days. So, you know, from my perspective, I'm very proud of what I've what I've done, and uh, I wanted to give myself the best chance to to finish off at a World Cup, knowing that I've walked away giving it my best shot, you know, with the team and with, with the, the players. And it's, it's an exciting period for me to also have the opportunity to work with, you know, so many different types of, of players and, and bowlers and, and to have that opportunity to experiment a bit more and really enjoying that. And, uh, yeah, just want to have the opportunity to leave it all out here at the end of the tournament and get on that airplane proud of what, what I've been able to do. Yeah, we're expecting quite a few South African fans here in Chennai. What does it do for the team on the field seeing South African supporters? Yeah, it's terrific to be honest with you. We we don't really get too many fans that travel the world with us uh, like the English. So to have to look up and see fans, uh, you know, your own your own fans in the stadium is obviously a terrific feeling. And you know, it's wonderful that the people in South Africa have taken you know the time and the efforts and and obviously the money to come over here and support us. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful feeling for the guys. We know obviously back home there's a lot of uh, buzz around the World Cup, and you know we're just obviously trying to trying our best to 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 give them you know the satisfaction that they're all looking for.